So he's dead. This is remember what this is actually what he was just saying. He was recording this right before we arrived. Notice that map over there? To the left? Yeah. Bunch of map of the city with a bunch of crossbow bolts in it. Huh. Now, I, I, I don't know. I'm wondering what happens if you attack him before he's finished recording that. I don't know if, like, then when you play it, there's nothing, or if it'll cut off at that, or how, how it works, but... Ah, use Dowd's key. Carmine Jewel Box. 100 coins. Letter to Dowd. Dowd, I am satisfied. Corvo would have been very useful to me, but your improvisation was exemplary. Him taking the fall for the crime simplified matters greatly. I hope you are equally satisfied with the payment. I shall contact you again shortly for additional assignments. HB. Hmm. Well, remember Dowd sent him that... We found that letter in, in Hiram Burroughs' safe saying, you know, Corvo wasn't part of the deal. We want more money for having to deal with him, too. Right, yeah. So, yeah, I guess... Dowd's log. The latest log entry. 18 years on this wretched rock, in this city of filth. I felt the blood of scholars, of noble pedophiles, of guildsmen, of unfaithful lovers. Politicians who were far too just for their own good, and of law enforcers who came too close to bringing the wrong man to justice. Why should an empress be any different? Why, I sh why should I feel the entire weight of this dying city crushing down on my back? Corvo, Lord Protector, is of Sir Konos, just as I once was. I might have known that fact already, but it didn't matter until I recognized it in his face. It brought back distant memories of home and the optimistic young man I once was. What would I find if I went back there? Would I find that it is rotted from the inside, just like Dunwall? Or will it only appear that way because I'm the one who's rotted? Hmm. Yeah, Dowd. So I, I did look it up because I was sure that there was another way to um, neutralize Dowd. Is there? And you can do what's called um, sending him a message. Do you know how to do that? I do not. If you manage to neutralize the rest of his guards and sneak up on him, mm -hmm. you can pickpocket him. Where and take his money, and he's also got a unique bone charm, I think. Oh, neat. Um, doing that counts as disabling him because that tells him he'll he'll later realize. I think you can find a note somewhere that you had the means and motive you to you, kill him. And okay, but didn't. Okay. And that scares him away. Yeah. That's cool. That's interesting. Okay, I did not realize it. Now that bone charm is the only way. Is that the is that the only means of getting it? I think so. Pickpocketed him because yeah, I think in those kill animations, you yeah. throw him over the. Yeah. He's supposed to at least he's supposed to pitch over the side. Yeah. So and you couldn't pick anything up off him when yeah. it didn't, right? Right. Or could you? No, I couldn't. I mean, presumably they didn't program anything to be on his corpse because they, he wasn't supposed, it wasn't supposed to be accessible like that. Yeah. Well, now there's another, uh, another room to be had. Oh, and I can unlock these things. Ooh, 100 coin pocket watch. Not bad at all. Nice.
Just no reason. Oops! <laughs> You're supposed to use the chain to get down. But optionally, you can just fall and break your legs. Nice. Letter to the director. So that's it? We're closing down? After all these years? After we just unveiled the new statue of Jessamine Caldwin? Oh, I was right. Okay, yeah, that is the uh, person. A broken wall and some rising water, and we're just going to abandon the building and split up our offices in the lesser districts? Are you insane? Has your brain turned to plague rats? Have you been drinking the outsider's piss? Any of these explanations I would accept sooner than the relocation assignments we all found on our desks this morning. If this is truly how you plan to operate as our director, then no, I will not accept my relocation orders. Consider this my resignation. Percival Cox, former deputy chairman, Rudshore Chamber of Commerce. Didn't take it. Doesn't respond to change well, I guess. Oh. Further down. Two rooms out of five. Unlock with Dowd's key. Tunnel. I heard some rumors the next game in the series might be in Tivia. Hmm. You know, not Russia? Yeah, not Russia. I'd be interested. I'd be more interested to see a slack drop return. <laughs> but I just like slack drop. Can you, can you not kill him? Uh actually that's go the, um, that's one of the uh late coming up we're, we're actually good. we will see him again. Mm, and that's right. We will in fact actually will decide his fate. You'll see what I mean. It's not like uh, Kenny the Boatmaster from The Walking Dead. I've not seen The Walking Dead. Did you play The Walking Dead? I have not played it either. I've, no? I've to I told you, Nick, my knowledge of television basically stops around 1998. Oh, no, no, it's not based off the TV show. Oh, is it like it's just a separate story in that universe? Yeah, the, the Telltale game? Yeah. The Walking Dead? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, dude. If you haven't played it, you should absolutely play it. Heard it's good. It's amazing. Like, manly, manly tears. Here we are. All right. And at long last, we are back. Now, nice. we can leave. Alrighty. Onward further into the flooded district. There's a lot of run into the overseer guy soon, right? Overseers. The guy. Oh no no no! Because we killed him. Never mind. Who Campbell? Yeah. He was our first victim. Yeah. If you kill him, if you do not. Oh! Lethal... If you spare him, is this where you find him? Yeah, you find him in the flooded district. He's okay. He's a, a weeper. weeper, with the mark on his face. Right. And I like he has a, a diary note talking Cur about how, cursing your name. Like he like everything's fucked up and he's really pissed off that nobody will help him, even though this is like exactly the fate he intended for people with the mark. And like even if you stealth kill him, he still blames you. Stealth, I heard uh, that yeah, he still blames you somehow. Knows blame yeah, he's just like, let it be known that I blame my my whole fate on Corvo Atano. <laughs> Oh, you see that? That's the corpse train. Yeah. Just dumping carcasses Excellent. into over the side. Oh, nasty rats. Get away. 
Hey, someone who's capable of speech. I should mention to viewers that I spent a, a, a possibly more than one occasion I just kind of got lost in this area. So if you notice some cuts that suddenly transport me long distances, that's because you didn't probably wouldn't want to see me just aimlessly moving through, <laughs> moving back and forth through the stage. What? Oh! What the hell are you? Are you some new kind of guard, like a tall boy? Can't be. Doctor, maybe? <laughs> Just kidding. Assassin, maybe. Keep in mind, I am wearing a Doctor Doom mask. Hoping to catch a ride on the plague wagon. A few come through here trying. And they fall and break their necks. But that won't stop you. You're almost there. It's pretty easy to get to the rooftops from here. You'll see the way. What do you want from me? To rob me? Looking for a quick roll in the mud? To rescue me? Gross. Well, I am not going anywhere. I came here all on my own, and I'm staying right here. Why? Do you think it's better out there? I hate to break it to you, but this is it. This is Dunwall. What you see just, right here. Just eat Life her food. Escape this <laughs> anywhere else. It's all gonna be the same soon. Don't you have a plague wagon to catch? Would she's severely hardened by life if she's just looking at a dude in a weird ass mask with a bloody sword? Yeah. Letter to Alpha, dear Alpha, we don't care if you're sick. Please come home. We'll take care of you. I'm not afraid. Your sister tells me that you're planning on hiding in the flooded district and that you want to die alone there. Please don't do that to us. Please. I love you. Well, that tells us. She has to be hardened. That's... I don't, I don't, to me, I, don't, I mean, there's a lot of... Sad, that's one of the saddest things in the game to me. I don't know... I'm not sure why, no, that, yeah, one, definitely. why that one gets to me so much. I don't know, it's, it's very relatable. Like, there's no name left off. That could be from... Like a husband, or like a yeah. mom, or dad, or even a brother. I don't know, it doesn't define the relationship, so it makes it really open-ended. That, that's a good point, yeah. Leaving it anonymous, it makes it more like, you can... Makes, it does kind of make it more relatable in a way. You can imagine it being from anybody. There's a rune up above somewhere. Oh, and there's a bone charm way back there. At the very beginning of this area, which I missed because I'm an idiot. Remember what I said about, about a lot of aimless wandering? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not going to have to see most of it, thank God. Well, that's good. Spirit water. This is an interesting. Drinking from faucets recharges a small amount of mana. Which is kind of neat, but there aren't that many faucets to be found. And now I've, I've bamfed back over here. I guess that like that that makes me go back to those early notes. Like, what do you think? Do you think they made that like on purpose? What early notes? Um, when I when we were talking about game design and how the like it's really weird how very little um, doors can be used wind blast for, mm -hmm. and how like. Uh, and now, you know, you like, you can drink from faucets to gain mana, but this is so late in the game, and there are so few faucets, like, it's not really worth it. I can't.
protect people. <laughs> they did. They protect the healthy people from people like us, the sick ones. I'm not uh, that bad. Some people pull through, right? <laughs> Don't they? One in a thousand. Ten thousand, probably. Any chance I'll take. When, when I get out of there. <laughs> And get better. I'm going to do right this time. Uh, a fresh start. This time. Uh, uh. Goodbye, my boy. Strange. You don't look ill. You're not a victim, not a guard. A spirit from the void, maybe. Another wagon comes every few minutes. How many do you think have died? They say a third of the city. I saw the mound of corpses myself. They dropped us in it. I don't blame them. But I know why they do it. But I only wanted to die at home. Mm. Yeah, I don't really have anything to say about that. <laughs> No wisecracks now? They weren't wisecracks before. <laughs> I was really just like asking her questions and then you ate her food. Ooh, so I was making fun of you. Ooh, a new blueprint. Spiked grenade, sticky grenades. Who... Who would design that? Who's like over here dying and being like, you know what would be awesome? Covering grenades in glue. Well, to be fair, it, it might just be left over here from when the place was originally wrecked. Maybe maybe, this, maybe some like mad inventor lived here.